Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. Azianti. Me and my team members from Group 2 will be presenting our group assignment about the quality at the Red Sculpton Hotel Company. First of all, I would like to introduce my group. First of all is Ahmad Hakimi. The second one is Muhammad Ali Hakim. The third one is Muhammad Anas. Following Muhammad Izzaz Hazik and myself, Sharina Fida. Now, I will be presenting about the background of this well-established hotel company. The Ritz Carlton Hotel Company LLC was formed in 1983 and was led by the president and founding father Colgate Holmes. The Ritz Carlton Hotel Company LLC originates with the Ritz Carlton Boston, where the standards of service, dining, and facilities of this Boston landmark served as a benchmark of all Ritz Carlton hotels and resorts worldwide. The legacy of this established hotel company began with hotelier Caesar Ritz where his philosophy of service and innovations, the king of hotelier and hotelier to kings, have redefined luxury hotel experiences. As the hotel company kept expanding worldwide with their outstanding performance, they have received the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award twice in 1992 and 1999. This award is established by the Congress to promote improved quality of goods and services in companies and organizations. Continuing in 1998, the hotel company attracted the attention of hospitality industry and the brand was purchased by Marriott International. Ever since, the Ritz Carlton continued to grow, providing exceptional services across the globe. The first Ritz Carlton in Malaysia was established at Kuala Lumpur during 1997 and their branch continued expanding with the second Ritz Carlton at Langkawi, established recently in 2017. So, the problem mentioned in the case study is quality is not a progress. Quality is not a program or a phase to the sculptor. It's a way of life for the employees. They have very high expectation upon the sculptor by all facilities from their owners, from their employees, and from their guests. Through total quality management and the use of separated war teams, it will enable them to continue part of the continuous improvement and reach the levels that everyone expects from this culture. The chapter that related to the case study in industry management is chapter 9 which is quality management and control. The definition of quality is an operation manager's objective is to build a total quality management system that identifies and is satisfied the customer needs. For the next slide is aspects of quality. For the aspects, for the first aspects of quality is quality. Quality is ability of a product or service to consist consistently meet or exceed customer expectation. For the second quality for the second aspect is quality control. The process that measures output relative to a standard and takes corrective action when output does not, does not meet a standard. For the third aspect of quality is total quality management. Efforts the total quality management is efforts of entire management to continuously improve the quality of products, service and processes to meet the needs and expectations of customers. So the next one uh, is the work process or the workflow of Risk Carton Hotel for our case study. So uh, for Risk Carton Hotel, uh, they implement three steps of services uh, uh, for their employees, which is the first one is a warm and sincere greeting for their guests. Second, use the guest's name anticipation and fulfillment of each case's needs. And the last one is the fond farewell, where uh, the employees need to give a warm goodbye and use the guest's name. Uh, next one is uh, the guest room attendant workflow, which uh, we can see on the right side of the slide, where uh, the employees of the risk garden hotel and for the housekeeping system need to strip bath, clean bath, Restock bath, 
strip bed, make bed, empty trash, dust rooms, check closet, vacuum room, update status, and exit group. Uh, this gas from attendant workflow, which uh, will be done by the will be done by the housekeeping. Uh, they need to follow uh, uh, this uh, gas from attendant workflow if, uh, uh, after and before each uh, guests came uh, and received their room. Thank you. Okay, in what way should the risk culprit monitor success in achieving quality? Quality is not something that can be quantified. You cannot touch or feel quality. When a customer is satisfied by the service of Fritz Hotel and come back next time, that can be used as a great measure of achieving quality. Success can also be measured in the number of complaints, whereas the lesser the complaints, the more the success. Other than that, winning the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award in 1992 is also a success in achieving quality. Organization that apply for the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award are judged by an independent board of examiners. Recipients are selected best based on achievement of an improvement in seven areas known as the Baldrige criteria of our performance excellence, such as leadership, strategy, customers, workforce, operation, results, management, analysis, and knowledge management. So today, uh, for my part, is uh, what actions do we expect from company that intends for quality to be more than just a slogan? So for a risk carton hotel, this is basically depends on their strategy to tackle these questions. So this quality we achieve through setting the company's operational strategy around the slogan. This way, each and every unit of the company would be working towards fulfilling the slogan and the brand promises. And taking to the scenario of the risk carton hotel as an example, the company has clearly put more meaning behind its quality efforts uh, to organize its employees into self-directed work teams, whereas employees the teams determine work scheduling, work to be done, and also monitor what to do in their particular area to address the issue of the quality. And next one, uh, the risk carton hotel also has three steps of services. The 12 and the 12 services values, uh, which employees need to build a strong relationships and create a unique, memorable, and personal experience for risk cotton uh, guests during their time of stay. Uh, the next one is the sixth diamond, which is uh, mystic, emotional engagement, and functional. And the last one is the crane, uh, where the risk cotton is a place where the genuine care and comfort of guests is their highest mission. And lastly, where they pledge to provide the finest personal service and facilities for their guests who will always enjoy a warm, relaxed, yet refined ambience. Why might it cost the risk culprit on less doing things right the first time? Risk culprit aim to have everything right when the door opens to the first customer. Like in all company, they want to achieve this advocacy, do things right, the first time and all the time. In every wrongdoing and error committed by their employees, it causes the company a revenue loss, which may lead in losing their guests. This all revolves around the concept of brand image. If a guest first-time experience at the Ritz does not meet his or her expectation, the Ritz Hotel risks losing their customer and his competition. Quality assurance set the standard that product and services must meet. The quality assurance function should be based on the customer needs, not on the desire of the consumer. As fulfillment of the customer needs and the requirement play a crucial role in terms of enhancing the service rendering organization and through not doing things right at the first time, Ritz could end up spending million advertising whereas this cost could have been avoided and invested more into the training and employee motivation to increase the productivity and quality 
of the workers. By making the first time experience of the customer at the hotel, which school save a lot of money and upgrading their revenue. There are a few methods used on how hotels or other companies that provide services identify the quality problem, which is by using control charts, Pareto diagrams, and cause and effect diagrams. Firstly, control charts. Control chart is another method that helps in monitoring a process. It graphically portrays the average value as well as the upper and lower control limits of a certain process. Furthermore, it helps to distinguish between variations in a process and compare data collected with the standard ones that has been benchmarked. Secondly, Pareto diagrams. Pareto diagram is a graphical overview of process problems in ranking order of most frequent to least frequent from leftmost of the graph to rightmost of the graph. It illustrates the frequency of fault type where it is easy to decide which problem is most serious. So it works as a basis to divide and conquer problems where it is possible to track which problem is best to work on first. After the problems are encountered, the new data for the diagram will be refined and able to see clearly the performance in terms of quality and offering of services. As data keeps being updated, the latest diagram will be able to identify and target the most significant problem. Lastly, cost effect analysis or also known as fishbone diagram, identifies quality problem which combines brainstorming to consider all possible causes of a problem rather than just one that are most obvious. It is able to explore more causes that may affect the services in the hotel. Okay, so there are five different causes involved in the hotel industry, which is the first one, entertainment cost, which involves Netflix, internet, utilities cost, which involves rent, the labor cost, which involves staff salary, uh, inventory cost, which involves F&B, toiletries, and technology cost, which involves hotel management software. So a hotel management software is a software where we provide uh, online reservation, online bookings, um, and also ease the workload of our staff um, so that we can optimize the workforce. So uh, we know that utilities costs mostly involve around fixed costs such as rent, um, taxes, bills, and many more. So, um, there, however, there are several ways that we can reduce the utilities cost. For example, by reducing the energy usage. Uh, so when we reduce the energy usage, how can we reduce it? So the first method we can reduce, uh, we can reduce the energy usage by uh, promotes an energy campaign. Uh, like we encourage the customer to reuse their towels so that we can reduce the uh, water consumption. So uh, the next one is we can also use an uh, use an LED energy efficient. Uh, we can hugely also reduce the electricity bill. So from here we can cut costs of the uh, energy usage. The next one is uh, we can uh, do a high frequency of maintenance. When we when we do a high frequency of maintenance, we can uh, uh, maintain, preserve, protect, and keep uh, the our services in top quality. So when we have a good quality of um, services, of course we can um, uh, hugely reduce the cause of um, other incoming problems um, when we uh, gain a customer. Okay, so inventory cost, how can we reduce the inventory cost? So uh, by applying the JIT concept, which is just in time in man management, and also we can apply the lean management method for continuous improvement. Okay, so uh, just in time uh, is defined as when there is a demand, then that is when we must provide the services. For example, we can take a room service. Um, so when there, for example, when there's a customer, uh, one for food uh, uh, once uh, to pay for room service then that is the only time we must cook for the food we don't have to cook the food uh, before the demand comes in so with these types of concept we can uh, hugely reduce the waste uh, we don't have to order a lot of um, uh, food uh, before uh, the, 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 the demand comes in 
Okay, so how can we reduce the labor cost? So first of all, we can reduce the labor cost by having effective scheduling where we only hire a high number of staff when there is a huge rise in demand. So when we do an effective scheduling, of course, we can hugely reduce the cost of salary that we must pay to our staff. So and the next one is we can provide a cross training where we train the staff to do multiple roles um, so that they can help uh, other departments when the other departments is overwork or when they are not available. So for the technology cost, how can we reduce the technology cost? First of all, we can reassess the software stack that we have subscribed by hiring a technology audit. So when we hire a technology audit, uh, they will see, they will provide a data for us where this software we did not frequently use, this software we frequently use. So when we um, uh, when we see the data, we can actually cut off the subscription plan for the software that we did not use. So by uh, by reassessing our software stack, of course, we can reduce the cost. So the next one is uh, optimize marketing. So when we optimize our marketing, we can uh, reduce the use the usage of software that we subscribe, and also we can increase the number of customer coming in into our hotel. Okay, so how can we reduce the entertainment cost? We can look for promotional and bundle plan. What does it mean by this? Is for example, we take Unify. Unify they provide both TV services and also internet services. So when we take um, services which comes from one company, we can negotiate with the company because we take two of their services instead of we take one services uh, from Unify and one services from Netflix. So when we add uh, uh, two different companies to uh, which provide two different services. Of course, this will hugely increase the cost. So we can look for promotional and bundle plan from one same company so that we can negotiate with them to reduce the subscription fees or optimize the subscription plan.